ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our latest edition of Shots of Legends. Today we bring you this very special guest who I uh, truly admire and have been following uh, her, her career uh, and uh, I'm very fan of her, of her song. I will be talking to Chesney Claire. Chesney is a singer, songwriter and recording academy uh, member. Uh, with the help of uh, music producer Rich Brown and, uh, and uh, Atlantis Recording, Chesney will successfully record and release six cover singles. With um, more than 100 original songs uh, under her belt, she flew to, to Orlando uh, and had her first original single, uh, 15 Candles, uh, Tighten It Up, and perfected by uh, producer Tim Coons. Besides the 15 Candles, uh, she released uh, uh, Moving On, I Was Not In The Mood, uh, Come Alive, Distracted, and other songs. From 2021 uh, uh, to 2022, Chesney won uh, more than 25 uh, music industry awards. So it's a pleasure to have her here uh, with us today. So stay tuned and don't forget to follow us on our social media. Welcome, it's a pleasure to have you here on Shouts of Legends. It's a pleasure to be here, finally. I appreciate you for inviting me. Yeah, no, it's a pleasure. So how's your day going? It's going well. Um, I just got home a couple hours ago from work, and so I'm I'm just, uh, <laughs> my sleep schedule's all messed up, but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. here. It's going good. I realized that lately. You have been busy. Yeah, <laughs> very busy lately. Yeah, so I have a couple of questions here. Uh, the first one, I would like you to talk a little bit about your about yourself. Who's Chesney? How was your life? Where did you? Where were you born? And and how do you uh, access? How do you analyze this whole thing about the world? How do you uh, can you talk about your inspiration? The people that uh, motivated you motivate you. Absolutely, absolutely. So I I started doing music whenever I was around 15 years old. I started putting my heart and soul into it, trying to do it professionally. Um, I started performing at some bars in my hometown of Louisiana. Yeah. And I decided that's definitely what I wanted to do. And so I came here after high school with my mom and and we figured out everything. And I've just been doing it all since. Um, learned a little bit about production and being able to produce my own songs, my own voice. And, uh, and yeah, some of my inspirations, you said, I, some of my inspirations would be Mac Miller. He's always been a huge inspiration of mine. Billie Eilish. Yeah. And um, Adele. Adele's a big inspiration of mine, too. I switch him out all the time. But yeah, I saw your nice. video. I saw your video, I think it was on your Instagram. You were at the uh, Billie Eilish uh, concert. I saw that you were very uh, excited about that. I think you were about like five meters far from her. Yeah, I got to I got to see Billy uh in concert two years ago. It was a festival here in Las Vegas. And yeah. she I got I got really great tickets. I stood there like all day so I could be close to the front of the of everybody that was there. And she got in like a little a little lift cherry picker type thing and she got over the whole crowd and she was like a foot over my head it was really cool no nice nice that's amazing i've been listening to 15 candles the problems uh, can you talk a little bit about these two songs i mean uh, can you talk about the impact of these songs in your career yeah, absolutely so 15 candles is my first song that i ever put out um to the public and it was a really touchy song. It's a really touchy song. It's on the subject of a, a bond between a father and a daughter. That's not a good one. Um, and since the release of that song, you know, I was I was scared to put it out because I knew that my my dad was going to hear it. But I I just knew in my heart that so many other people needed to hear this message, too. So releasing that I think that was a, a great idea to release that as my first single, because ever since then, I've just gotten messages from older men younger females uh middle-aged men middle-aged females just saying how this song has completely related related to them and their relationship with their father so yeah. i'm really um i'm really thankful that i actually had the guts to put it out whenever i did but yeah. um yeah. yeah no those are those are beautiful uh beautiful songs and um 
uh, the other day I was listening to movie, move, Moving On and uh, how do you get these all inspirations? I mean, how did you write, how do you write your, uh, uh, these songs? And uh, can you talk about the process of conceiving a new idea for a song? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the process of writing the songs, I've had a lot of stuff happen to me in a short amount of time of, of living. I've been living for 22 years, but I have had a lot of different things happen, a lot of different life experiences. And all of my songs come straight from the heart. And if they don't come from my heart, then my mom helps me helps me figure out the little gaps to fill in with the rest of the song. Um, she she definitely helps me with with writing things that I don't have much experience about. But I I totally enjoy just writing things from the heart. Usually when I sit down with a an instrumental or a beat or anything, just whatever I'm feeling um, that connects with that beat is going to just flow out super easy and just uh just happen and it's just all from the heart usually yeah so your mom plays a a, a, a huge important role in your career do you want to talk a little bit about um uh, uh, i mean her advice is how she, the role she plays in your in your in your career because uh i've seen that you have this uh good band this uh good relationship and uh i know she's your manager so can you talk a little bit about this relation about uh uh, the impact that she has uh, in, your, in your career, if you allow me to ask about that. Of course, I'd love to. Um, so since I was since I was 15 years old, my mom has has gotten me into bars in Louisiana that I've been too young to be in, but I've gotten an opportunity to perform at, and I had to show up with the parents. So my mom, of course, was there. She's she's moved me across the country from. Uh, Louisiana to Las Vegas and um, we we basically packed up our whole life together to just follow the music dream and she's helped me with honestly every aspect of it whether it be um, writing some words that I, I mean writing and about a scenario I'm not quite sure about she she has my back with that or um, anything else the connections that she makes the gigs that she gets me like I've gotten a couple of gigs on Sunset Strip in LA that have been straight from her. She's just uh, she's been a huge help with my with my music and uh, and in every single aspect, every way. Yeah. So can you can you tell us about can you talk about the secret? Of, uh, uh, what is the secret to become a good singer or a good songwriter? Is there any formula we uh, uh, some we need to follow or you need to follow so you can become that singer, that songwriter you're aspiring to be? I would say to just strive to be open and honest about what you're what you're singing about, what you're putting out into the world, because you never know who's going to relate to you or how many people will relate to whatever you have to say, honestly. And usually it's a lot if it's something yeah. that's not you know, normally said. But the biggest secret, I would say, is to stay on top of it and to not not give up. Uh, not a year in, not two years in, not three years in. Just see where it takes you and have fun with it, and just um, uh, and just really strive to 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 learn about it in every single way that you can. Learn about the music industry. If you're just a singer, maybe teach yourself how to produce as well, so you can be self sufficient yeah. and and you know not need other other producers or anything like that. Just uh, I would just say to learn everything that you can about your your craft. So, so there is a question that comes to my mind right now. How do you define a life, Chesney? How do you see life? If you had to give us a definition about life, what would you say? Life is crazy. Um, <laughs> a life is, <laughs> is, is truly, truly crazy. And, you know, we don't get told the meaning of it or what we're supposed to do. But honestly, I feel like what we're supposed to, what we are supposed to do here on this earth is to just, have fun and, and make a very memorable journey, uh, make stories and, and be with the people that you love as much as possible and yeah. just strive to be the greatest that you can be because we only have such a limited time on this earth. So that's my that's my advice. And that's how I, I view life. I view life in, a, um, in many different ways, but that's the most important to me. No, amazing, powerful. Uh, uh, but where do you see uh yourself and uh, like five years from now where do you want to go as a singer what are you, what are you willing to achieve in the next couple of years 
Yeah, of course. Um, I I am actually a member of the the Grammys, the Recording Academy. So my, one of my five year goals is to actually have a nomination or possibly win an award for a Grammy. But I've been in consideration um, for a couple of Grammy nominations these past two years. So I have high hopes about that. Um, I definitely would love to do a tour or some festivals or a little bit of both. But I, um, I, I know that my fan base in Africa is huge and I got the same love back for, for, for them. So I would love to maybe branch out there, see some of, um, see some of my, my bigger top fans, um, and some of the bigger places. That's, that's definitely one of my goals. Yeah. I'm a big fan of yours. You already know about that. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, but talking about the Recording Academy, do you feel that the being part of the platform has uh, any positive impact on your career? What are the things that you think that have changed after you became a member of uh, Recording Academy of the Grammys? Yeah, I, I um I I got a lot of um a lot of connections from the Recording Academy. I got a lot of followers that are followers of the Recording Academy on Instagram. And we also, um, I got invited to a writing session in Vegas that was put on by the Recording Academy. So I was one of seven members in the Los Angeles chapter that joined this writing session. So I got to make really good friends about about a year and a half ago um, at that session and just being able to have my name on a ballot right under Billie Eilish and Drake, you know, that's, 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 yeah. that's an accomplishment in itself with the, with the, in consideration for nominations. So. And, and I saw that you, uh, you have toured with um, actors uh, and uh, singers, uh, actors like Danny, Danny Glover uh, and other professionals. And you have worked with uh, producers that have produced for Jason Derulo, for, for, for Lady Gaga, etc. cetera. Uh, do you think being part of this, uh, of this platform, uh, this all opportunity that you have had over the of, over the years, do you think that uh, you are close uh, to to achieve that uh, that dream, that goal? How do you see? How do you analyze your path when it all started and uh, how it's going right now? Do you think you are going in the right direction? I definitely feel like I'm going in the right direction, but that's the thing about life. It pulls you in different directions every other day uh new opportunities pop up and new everything can change in in a, just a couple of days so i i definitely feel like i'm on the right path um i feel like i'm following all the steps to continue um doing well in my music journey and and i feel like i'm connecting with the right people but honestly the main the main thing about this industry is is who you know and who you connect with and and who knows your name? Because your name can be said in, in rooms that you haven't even thought about before. And that all definitely just um, just puts you a step or two ahead of, of everybody else if they know who you are and they know what you do and how how hard you strive to do it. Um, so yeah. I, I feel yeah. like I'm, I'm sort of on the right path. But how do you reconcile? Do you manage all these dreams? Because I know you have been doing a lot lately. How do you uh, manage all this stuff, like working this dream? How do you, how do you, how do you manage to 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 give the proper attention to each tasks you have during the day? Being a songwriter, having to go to the office uh, uh, and uh, have to write a new song. How do you reconcile all this stuff? My mom, <laughs> <laughs> she she will um, she will make meetings for me while I'm at my job. Um, I do work a full-time job, so she will, she will orchestrate meetings for me, um, get me Zoom calls. She will just contact the right people for me and, and, and have everything planned and ready for whenever I come back from work. So I have, you know, like a little schedule after work to take care of. Um, but yeah, she, she, we have like a little calendar and she'll write everything down and, and have it all ready for me. And I'll just, you know do that type of thing but she's she's definitely been a, a massive help because I, I'm, I wouldn't be able to do it without her because I'm doing I'm doing music I mean I'm doing my full-time job as well but yeah. she's definitely helping can, can, can you tell can you tell us can you talk about the biggest uh, challenges as a songwriter as a singer uh, when you analyze your path there might be some kind of challenges you've been facing lately can you talk about those 
Sure. Um, I think one of my challenges is um, finding people that are very trustworthy in this business. I know that there's a lot of there's a lot of people who have led us down the wrong path a couple of times um, during during my music journey, and it hasn't been so great. And so uh, that's that's one of the challenges. Um, another one I would say is is staying true to yourself and always being like honest in, in your music and just um, keeping up with social media is also a struggle. That's <laughs> yeah. also a task. Yeah, just being able to being able to be at every place that I should be at once has been, you know, a, a, a big task, but I'm um, I'm learning it. So do you think you uh when you analyze the uh, uh the things right now, do you think you're building a good community of fans all uh, around the world? Do you think you have uh, those fans uh, uh, who says like, oh man, today I can't wait. I can't. Uh, I can't live without listening to the to to the problem. For example, fifteen candles. Do you think you're building a good uh, uh, good community of uh, of fans all over the world? Yes, I I do. I I have been working on that since since I made my Facebook page, since I made my Instagram. Um, just being able to build my fan base and and communicate with my fans. It's I've seen so many great responses back to that um people saying that they they love my music they listen to it on repeat um and then they go on my social media and they'll comment and they'll interact and you know just just stay around me for quite a while and so i i definitely see that fan base building and also especially on facebook but uh instagram linkedin also up there uh just just all kinds of good stuff yeah but is there any song you feel proud of when you look to uh not in the mood for example when you look to come alive and uh, those are the songs you have re- you have written is there any song you think you feel very proud of, or you feel like this is my best child till now mm. well i have i have my uh my favorite my first song honestly 15 candles that one that one has had the biggest outreach to everybody that one is the people's favorite yeah. um it was my my first song and everybody seems to to really like that one the most but one of my favorite that I've ever done is probably um I really 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 enjoy the song distracted that I made um I made that one in Nashville a couple of years ago with some really talented uh songwriters and a producer and I've we killed that session. We did that amazing, and then uh, we we made the song amazing. So, distracted is probably my favorite, but I think the people's favorite would be Fifteen Candles. Fifteen Candles, no, but that one is uh, that one is great. Uh, that one is great. Uh, I do love that song too. Uh, but Thank uh, you. yeah, <laughs> but talking about uh, talk about the awards. I know you have uh, 25 plus awards. Uh, yeah. Is there any meaning of this award? You think? Uh, getting so many awards is a kind of uh you feel like you're being recognized how do you access when you get the new awards in the in the music uh, uh, industry um first off i would say that it definitely helps with your pride in the music industry um it helps with if you have been feeling like you haven't done enough and you get an award then it's showing that you that you really have and and that what you're doing is not for nothing yeah. Um, getting an award always, always it will it will just raise your spirits in such an incredible way. Um, but my advice to everybody is to just put your name in these awards because it that you wouldn't get an award if you don't if you don't enter your song or you don't um, put your name out there to the people that that give the awards. Um, but they're 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 very important to me just to show that what I've been doing is not for nothing. Yeah. So before we finish, I still have like a, a three three questions. I realized mm-hmm. that recently that one of your passion is acting. Uh, where do you want to go as an actress? Do you still um you think you are you investing in that dream? Uh, have you ever get, uh, got some um, uh, some roles to play? How is everything goes? Because I I saw lately recently I mean uh, that you got a role in a certain movie. I think. Can you talk about this uh this uh this dream of yours of becoming a professional actress? 
<clears throat> yeah, so there has been a few um, directors ha- that have reached out to me about um, being placed in a movie, acting in a movie or um, a sitcom. I've also been reached out about that. So I have a couple of different scripts on my on my desk. I just am, they're all in the development stages of the, of the movies. They're still doing casting. So I'm totally looking forward to that. Hopefully for 2024 to, to come true, to come to fruition. But I am, I am totally ready for an acting uh, opportunity, anything in acting, I would definitely be interested in. And so I've, uh, I've made those connections at the end of 2023 with the help of my mom. And uh, we're, we're definitely just hoping that 2024 just opens up with those opportunities. I'm very excited about that. Mm, I think it was uh, was uh, Russell Russell Go Go who who, who posted something uh, saying that you will be joining the cast of Fifth Kind uh, TV series and yes. you will be playing the role of Michelle. So how excited are you about this? I am super super excited. Um, this has been an opportunity that I have been looking forward to uh, for a long time. Most of my acting, uh, my acting caught on camera <laughs> is going to be my music videos or, or something just similar like that. But I'm, I'm super excited for people to, to find out about me in a different way or see me in a different light, just like on screen or just showing what I can do. Do you think sometimes it takes uh, uh, too long uh, for us to achieve our goals? Do you feel that way sometimes, like it's taking so so long to to get that goal I've been uh, uh, pursuing, I've been uh, seeking, I've been looking for? Do you feel that way sometimes? Totally, a hundred percent. Um, and that is that's just us. And how do you to... deal with those emotions? Like when you find yourself in that kind of situation, like thinking about this stuff. Yeah, so um, I actually have a tattoo, and that tattoo is it has the numbers two, 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 and yeah. what that means, what that means is that you you are in the right place at the right time, and things are going the speed that they were meant to go, okay. and uh, and I stick by that. That's what grounds me because I always I always feel like like you know this should have happened already. Um. You know, I've been a member of the Recording Academy. You know, I should be nominated for a Grammy right now, but that's not how that works. We have to, we have to take our time, and and life is is crazy. Like I said earlier, and it it will throw curveballs at you, and yeah. sometimes that slows down your process of of where you're trying to go, and uh, just remembering that that your life has has a plan and that you are in the right place at the right time and things are going the way that they're supposed to go is definitely what's what's kept me sane in this industry no that's amazing that's amazing to hear so is there any message an advice for dreamers all over the world people who are thinking about quitting because uh, they feel like the the path is heavier is there any message you would like to to leave to those uh uh, to those who I think about quitting, people who think like, oh, I won't be able to achieve that goal I've been uh, uh, trying to uh, to achieve, etc. What would you say to dreamers all over the world right now? I would tell them to don't throw in the towel. I would just say <laughs> to to just just keep going, keep doing what you're doing, even though. Even though life gets crazy and and throws throws these curveballs at you, it will it will it will mess up your track. There there is gonna be things that will mess up your your dream and your your path that you're on. It's it's not like it, maybe it will happen, but there there are things that are gonna happen in your personal life or in your in your music life that will that will throw you off of your path, and you just have to regroup and remember what you started it for and what your end goal is and just to keep yourself keep yourself on track because you you can't let other people's decisions or like anything in life just just keep you from doing what you want to do if you really want to do it well no thank you thank you uh for accepting our invitations and uh, for granting us this uh privilege uh to know a little bit more about your path about your career about your life it was a pleasure to have you here on Shout with Legend. And we'll be um, waiting, hoping to see you in the 
in the big platforms like uh, achieving <laughs> the getting the Grammys, uh, being part of, uh, of the film industry. Uh, and I hope uh, personally to have your autograph uh, very soon. No, oh, I will. I shall <laughs> send you something soon. I'll send you like an autographed little something. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. Sounds perfect. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I really appreciate the opportunity. And it was a great talk. Yeah, the pleasure was mine. So wish you a great day. Uh, hope to see you uh, or to have you here on Shots of Legend in the next opportunities. I will be back. And you, anybody listening can find me at Chesney Claire and all my music and all my good stuff. ChesneyClaire.com too. Okay. That's your website or, or the dual platforms. I was just uh, uh, forgetting to ask about the platforms. I know you have the, uh, your YouTube. We can find there your, your videos. Uh, but you have another platform you think uh, your fans could, uh, could access so they can listen to your songs. Yeah, absolutely. So on any social media platform, it is going to be under Chesney Claire, just my name. Um, yeah. But my Facebook, my Instagram, my Spotify, my Apple Music, all of that is just under Chesney Claire. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate this. No, that's great. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Chesney. Um, thank you very much. Have a nice day. You as well. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. It was a pleasure to have you there. We felt your presence. We hope to have you here on the next episodes of uh, Shots of Legends. Don't forget to follow uh, Chesney Clay on her platforms. And don't forget to follow uh, Shots of Legends on our uh, social media. It was a pleasure to have you there. See you in the next uh, episodes of uh, Shots of Legends.